Daily Broadside, day 621. This weekend has been kind of a bummer, and I've had to recollect and decide what I'm scavenging my time to do, which it's not going to be as fun as what it was going to be. But here's what the plan was, right? So Thursday evening, one of my original uh, earliest OG TikTok followers was flying in to uh, North Carolina from Texas. And she was going to hang out at the house all weekend. We had a whole list of things planned. It was going to be kind of cool, right? And another um, TikTok follower of mine who is more local, we're all going to get together, hang out, and do things. Had a whole litany of events planned. And then what happens? Dallas happens, damn it. They had like hail and storms and lightning. And so the problem with late night flights, and I say late night, later in the evening flights, is there's not a lot of options. The flight crew's got so many hours they can work, so you can't really delay stuff too long. You got a bunch of problems, and then she... They delay her flight, so had she taken it later, she would have missed her connection, blah, 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 so we had to cancel and scrap the whole event. But here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. The local TikTok follower has got some uh, proclivities about going out with other people, right? So she's a little apprehensive and nervous and shy, whatever adjective you want to throw at it, about getting together with people right that and i've met her you know we've met in person you know so she knows who i am right um you know and uh but she got kind of a stay of execution so to speak because now we have to plan this again in a few weeks and and do it all over again and hope that dallas doesn't suck the big one again <clears throat> and you may be asking yourself what kind of crazy person flies halfway across the country to hang out with some people she's never met it could be a murderer and it could be you could be if i was a murderer but i'm not so there's really nothing to worry about. Now, wait, well, how do you know you're not a murderer? Well, I know I'm not. You know, it's up to her to believe me. But nevertheless, um, it's been an interesting uh, 48 hours because now here I am, just got out of bed, and it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, I've been productive. I mean, I've been out of the bed several times. You know, I had other stuff, you know, I got done. But then I went back to the bed. I think I've had two naps, watched a movie in five parts. You know, I've gotten nothing done today. I'm getting ready to go to a tap room and watch basketball. And, it's, and then I'm going to a comedy show tonight and I'm whipping up some fantastic food that was going to be made with the party that was coming from Texas. So I'm doing things that uh kind of what I was going to do, but not really, but without people that were going to be here. Anyway, I had a whole week, like last night, I had, a, I had reservations for nine, which was part of the problem with the certain person who was a little shy, nervous, and gun shy about getting out of her house and hanging out with the coolest people on earth i.e. me and company uh but instead i went out with two of them last night uh, uh there were well i guess there was four of us yeah so uh i had a really good burger at a place but um they i don't like the fact that places will charge um you know they're cash only they'll take credit cards but they charge you four percent it's like what are we doing here man quit passing on stupid crap like that to the consumer you know up your up your food prices or something like cover that because it's like it's like going to a concert and having to pay for parking. I don't want to do that, right? Just build it into the damn price and pretend I don't have to do it. I don't I don't like that at all. But at any rate, uh, so tomorrow I've put off all my work for tomorrow. I got two brake jobs and three oil changes, and I got to install a backup camera tomorrow on my vehicles. So I got to space out these damn jobs to where they don't all coincide at the same time. And I don't know how to do that because mileage happens when mileage happens. But uh, so I've got a full day of uh, working on crap that I don't feel like working on. But the sun's finally coming out. So I'm um, trying to make the best of what was supposed to be a much wetter weekend here. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm kind of bummed because um, things were supposed to go a lot differently more differently and have a better um outcome than they are currently but we're trying to make the best of what we have here and by we i mean me uh but to that person who thinks they got out right that oh they repealed the death penalty for the weekend oh no no 2.0 is coming it's coming and it's coming for you so you've got to find a way to um put your shoes on grab your raincoat grab your galoshes Lock the door behind you, get in your car, and drive your happy ass to a restaurant and partay. Coming to a weekend near you, giddy.